Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, the content that I've got for you tonight is something that I'm not too thrilled about, but it's a different reason why I'm not too thrilled. Do you guys remember the San Jose gun insurance? If you're going to own a gun, you have to pay a fee to a nonprofit, and you have to carry insurance. Yeah, that came out of Sam Licardo's government in San Jose. Well, today... I just got news that this bad boy is allowed to go through the court system, but again, not for why you'd think. The injunctions have failed, and I'm about to walk you through everything. It'll be linked in the description box below so you can find out more, and I cannot wait to hear what you guys think about this one, and please send this one out because if this stands and goes further here, we will see it again in other jurisdictions. But enough of that. I'm going to do a quick word from our sponsor, SDI, and then we're going to dive into it, and I cannot wait to hear what you guys think. Now, I know a lot of you out there like to repair and upgrade your own guns. If you're looking for a way to take your hobby to the next level, Sonoran Desert Institute can help. The online programs at SDI cover armor courses, gunsmithing, woodworking, shooting sports management, and more. Plus, all the tools and materials are delivered directly to your door. So, what are you waiting for? There's a link in the description box below. Check it out, and thank you so much to SDI for making the video so possible. All right, my brothers and sisters, we have got to dive into this because we are on a mission to pass the Second Amendment along to the next generation. But this is going to be a thorn in my paw, so let's dive into it. Challenge to San Jose gun insurance. Fee law can proceed. Now, shocker of all shocks, this is coming out of a U.S. district judge in California. But let me show you what she actually said because the details are important here. From Reuters, again linked. A gun rights group legal challenged the San Jose, California city ordinance requiring gun owners to purchase insurance and pay a fee to a nonprofit aimed at preventing gun violence can go forward, a federal judge has ruled. Now again, wait until I tell you why it's allowed to go forward because there's a lot of heavy hitters on this that got denied in this initial injunction request. But let's keep going. U.S. District Judge Beth Labson Freeman on Friday granted much of the city's motion to toss the case. Brought by the Colorado-based National Association for Gun Rights, but said the group could refile most of the dismissed claims. This is the important part. It did get thrown out, but what she actually said they can do again is really important because it's something you're going to find very familiar. San Jose in January passed the first of its kind ordinance which would require gun owners to obtain liability insurance covering losses and damages stemming from negligent or accidental use of their weapons. The law would also require gun owners to pay an annual fee to an anti-gun violence nonprofit designated by the San Jose city manager. Now that was one of the main points of contention. You're mandating me pay a fee to someone who I don't even know where the money's going to go for my constitutional rights. Only one of a myriad of problems with this, but again, Listen to what she actually said. The order is important. The measure was to take effect in August, but the city has postponed implementing it during the litigation. Shocker. It's almost like they bit off more than they can chew. They completely postponed this, and they have not reinstated it. It's factoring into the decision. In August, Freeman denied NAGR's motion for a preliminary injunction blocking the law. Finding that the challenge to the insurance requirement was unlikely to succeed under the new standards set out in June by the U.S. Supreme Court in New York State Rifle and Pistol Association v. Bruin. There's the Bruin case. Which held that gun regulations are allowed if they are consistent with those traditionally used in the U.S. history. So I'm going to stop for one second then read this next part. Keep in mind what the left has been doing across the board. They've been trying to pull up 19th century. They've been trying to pull up 18th century, 20th century gun control laws to satisfy the tradition portion of the Bruin decision. This is the whole thing. If there's historical precedent, then they can make the case that it satisfies that historical precedent and tradition in Bruin. But they're failing miserably through multiple videos that we've done because they're always not, they're always falling short of the standard. Listen to this next sentence. Freeman said that the insurance requirement was analogous to some 19th century laws requiring gun owners to post bond in order to carry a gun. What? So not only is this judge clearly woo, way out there, but you're now comparing this to a criminal act of posting bond in order to carry a gun? That doesn't seem exactly analogous to mandating insurance for a constitutional right, does it? But let's keep going. I got one more thing for you. Freeman, the judge, also said the challenges to the fee requirement were premature since the nonprofit had not yet been designated. So it's almost like that nonprofit portion that the city was going to do 
didn't get designated because they put the entire thing on hold when it was supposed to go into effect on August, pending this litigation, and then the judge uses that as a reason to not go forward with a judgment or an injunction. Interesting how those things work, and always seems to be California, New York, and Illinois, when they just stop doing what they're doing, the judgment happens and they start again. Check this out. Friday's order followed similar reasoning. Freeman said the Second Amendment challenge must be dismissed because the complaint had been drafted before Bruin, but gave NAGR a chance to refile it under the new standard. So basically rewrite this underneath a more favorable decision. That's what she just said. She said that the challenges to the fees were still not right to be decided in court, but said those could be refiled as well by February if the city takes further steps to implement the law. If they take steps to implement the law, they start back at square run, incorporating the Bruin decision. They're kicking the can down the road again. But this judge actually compared your rights as a civilian, let's just say anywhere in the United States, to carrying a gun is equivalent to paying a bond to carry a gun. That's insurance. This world is crazy and you cannot make this stuff up. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and share this one out and I will see you on the next video. I'm Braden. See you later.